Well, we are on now to take our first hot topic, and we'll be as brief as possible, but let's try to address uh, what the issues are. Uh, the former governor of River State, uh, Nyesho Mwike, is in charge at the FCT. And uh, if you're talking about FCT and talking about Wike, you'll be talking about uh, demolitions. And a lot of people uh, are not very, very comfortable with his modus operandi in the FCT. But legal luminaries like uh, Femi Falano and uh, Adeboruwa have come out to say Wike is not answerable to the National Assembly at all. And we have as our guest this morning, Mr. Biodun Shoumi, who is a political analyst. Uh, good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Shoumi. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes. And let's look at how uh, Wike is behaving in uh, FCT. A lot of people say he's very harsh and shouldn't be that harsh. A lot of other people are saying that he should have concentrated on something else rather than what he's doing, uh, demolishing a lot of places uh, that he feels or that he says are not supposed to have buildings uh, there. He's demolishing markets, demolishing even private houses that seem to stand uh, against the master plan of the FCT. Comment on the modus operandi of the new FCT minister before we move on. Wiki, we all know Wiki as uh, the governor of River State. Wiki is not, um, um, has his way of doing things, even though he's a lawyer. Um, Wiki is uh, very brash and very harsh in his approach to issues uh, in relation to governance, particularly things which he disagrees with. Um, in the case of uh, the demolition going on currently, uh, many of the demolitions were already earmarked, many of the places were already earmarked for demolition, even before Wiki himself came into office. Um, he's put in effect, to, it takes a lot of courage to do that, but at the same time, uh, he needs to refine his approach, you know, to issues. You cannot afford to present yourself as um, um, as um, uh, heartless or as insensitive to the plight and feelings of those who would be at the receiving end, even though many of them may have deliberately contravened the law or through corrupt means managed to obtain planning permission and all that. But the fact of the matter is uh, so many thousands of people will either be uh, without a place to trade or without um, accommodation. And in any case, it's going to drive up the cost of accommodation in Abuja. So one would have expected um, a minister who is like a governor of that um, FCT, you know, to deal with those issues more sensitively than how Wiki is approaching it currently. But the fact of the matter is, um, those who are violating the law know exactly what the consequences would be. Wiki is not responsible for their actions. They are primarily responsible for the actions. And secondly, um, Wiki has not signed um, anything. All these demolitions that are ongoing, were already here, Mark, for the position, but it didn't happen before Wiki got it. It takes a man of courage to be able to do that. Wiki only needs to refine, you know, his approach a little bit. He set his target also uh, to be uh, the building a, a befitting a rail station, you know, for, um, you know, a train service, you know, for Abuja. Uh, many governments have tried to do that. They've not been able to do that. If Wiki can do that, uh, we can win more minds, you know, um, uh, and hearts uh, that than uh, those who would actually hate it for what he's doing currently. But the truth of the matter is, is sanitizing Abuja. Uh, people thought. Connected, uh, you start erecting structures. Uh, we need to go back, you know, restore some sanity. And that is what he's trying to do in Abuja. But I mean, not necessarily agree with the status. Oh, okay. Uh, but how, how sensitive can you be uh, to someone who has built, for instance, where a road should pass and he shouldn't do that? Uh, sensitivity, will it mean that you will have to carry this house to another place? You will still demolish it. So it's between, you yeah. Still demolish it. I'm, only, I'm talking about being sensitive within the context of the ongoing reforms taking place in the country mm. that has brought 
um, some pains, which even the president acknowledged to Nigerians. You know, I'm more concerned about the market uh, rather than individual building houses or public homes or public park. You know, about the markets, um, so that we don't have more people um, um, out of um, a means of earning a livelihood. Um, I'll be more comfortable. I don't have the full facts. Maybe um, the FCT uh, authorities have actually amassed yeah, different ways for market. I don't have the full facts on that. Or maybe they have even constructed markets to move uh, people to. I don't have the full facts. But based on the limited information I have, I'm only concerned about that aspect of not taking more people out of uh, means of uh, earning the livelihood within the realities of the current economic pains. Okay, well, there is this fight. That's the real topic uh, we're talking about. There's this fight, I would like to call it that, between uh, the, the FCT minister and the person representing the FCT in the National Assembly, that's uh, talking about uh, King Igwe now, who has said that he shouldn't do what he is doing. And the lawyers, senior lawyers, have come out to say that um, uh, he is not answerable that is the minister of the FCT, is not answerable to the National Assembly or even to the member representing the uh, FCT in the National Assembly. Uh, but his only interaction with Stop the, the members of the National is Assembly like the, is to defend the budget. Yes. Wike is like the governor of um, FCT, whether we like it or not. He's exercising the powers of the president, which is the executive power, uh, by courtesy of the president's appointment. Um, the House of Assembly, uh, the functions of the House of Assembly will be that of National Assembly. So it is not the business of National Assembly, you know, to play the executive role, uh, but really uh, the business of the executive to play that role. Ireti Kingibe is wrong. I align myself with the submissions of Falano and the uh, other guru mm. on this very issue uh, because the constitution is very clear. It stated clearly who should be in charge of the FCT and who should perform the legislative functions, which it ascribed to National Assembly. So, therefore, um, for Ireti Kingibe to think that as a senator, um, she or the National Assembly uh, will have a major role to play in executive functions, um, I don't agree with that. I think she's wrong. Um, I think she needs to go back and... Uh, check the constitution again. Wiki is doing the right thing. And um, he's, uh, he's entrusted with that responsibility and is exercising the powers of the governor as vested in the president in relation to FCT. So how does uh, checks and balances come into this uh into this situation because in the states you have the uh, state assemblies uh, that will also be looking into what the executive is doing. They are supposed to uh, also serve as a, uh, a guide so that he will not overdo what he's not supposed to do. But in the FCT we don't have that kind of a thing. So how do we have checks and balances in the FCT? We do. The constitution empowers the National Assembly in relation to FCT, uh, it's um, functions of the House of Assembly. That is exactly how the states are to be regulated. Uh, uh, no, uh, sorry, not regulation. You know, the oversight functions, you know, are carried out. Is the same duty imposed on National Assembly by the Constitution in relation to FCT. That is, the National Assembly shall act, you know, as if it's the House of Assembly in relation to FCT. So they still carry out the oversight functions, but they do not have the authority to carry out executive functions. Uh, they legislate for the FCT, uh, the, 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 the legislation enacting a law for FCT is the responsibility of National Assembly. Carrying out oversight functions is the responsibility of National Assembly. But in terms of executive discharge of functions, that is the job of the minister of FCT um, as, um, um, or the president as um, stated in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So within that context, um, we case in order. What if they, they fail to um, sign his budget? Will it not clip his wing? They cannot fail to sign the budget, except there's a problem with the budget. If there's a problem with the budget, that will be, it will get fixed. If they can't run Abuja Federal Capital Territory, the National Assembly Service is located in Abuja. 
they will be affected, you know, by uh, the, 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 the absence of a budget. So the fact of the matter is that so many workers, thousands of workers that will be affected, so many residents will be affected. I can't see the National Assembly doing that. What they can do is to look at its projects and say, okay, um, we want to know how you intend to spend this or you cannot spend money without it being appropriated. That's what they can do. Uh, but uh, it will never be in anybody's interest for any parliament, you know, to 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 deprive the executive of the funds or, or the judiciary of the funds to run them. Otherwise, um, democracy will collapse. So I can't see that happening. But they can scrutinize the budget. They have the right to appropriate, you know, for FCT. No doubt about it. But they do not have the right to carry out executive functions. Yeah, but th this is not carrying out executive function. You know, uh, you have a budget to get all the things that you need to dismantle or to demolish all the houses, which eventually may affect a lot of the senators and the House of Reps members. And they say, uh, this is too insensitive. We're not signing at this moment. That's what I'm just, just saying. Uh, sometimes yes. it can happen that way. Yes, but uh, WIKE does not need the permission of National Assembly to carry out demolition, which are clearly in contravention of uh, the master mm. or, or, or of Abuja. Um, the, all demolitions uh, should be carried out with the consent of the court. So they may have obtained you know, a, a, a go-ahead order from the court. I don't think they need a go-ahead from the National Assembly when it comes to demolition. And there is no way how the National Assembly can stop the executive, you know, from enforcing the law. If the law says don't build on public road and you build on it, you should know the risk you are taking. So, but there is also a procedure for that, which is uh, to avoid the executive recklessness. Um, there's a need for, to obtain a court order, you know, to remove electric structures. You know, there are procedures, it depends on which state of the year. Okay. Uh, you may have to serve contravention notice, you know, uh, staff starts the process of enforcement, which uh, is not does not happen overnight. So then they have complied with them. They were fully aware, you know, that those structures would be removed. And uh, that's why they're being removed currently. Okay. Uh, well, um, you did say something about sensitivity. Um, just a final one and briefly, too. Uh, now that people are being displaced, people are going to lose their homes, people are going to lose their jobs, do you, do you subscribe to any form of palliative? What do you think the Federal Capital Territory Authority should do to make sure the suffering of the people who are going to be displaced uh, will be lessened? There are two steps that can be taken. Uh, one is um, the government has already indicated its intention to do that, which is to provide more houses uh, for the people. It's not only with a view to accommodate uh, those who will be displaced uh, through the demolition, but with a view to bring down the cost of renting property, which is going uh, out of hand. Uh, it's getting to a state that many people cannot afford to live in Abuja. So obviously, Abuja is short of houses. The second step is in relation to the market. Um, clearly, if there is no, like I said, I don't have full information on the uh, market situation in Abuja. If the Abuja FCT has not provided a place for people to trade or the market, then they need to do that with a view to creating stalls, you know, for um, traders so that we can avoid the situation where many people or some people, again, deprive of means of livelihood. But the truth of the matter is, we need to be able to follow uh, through on all plans in, in, in relation to contravention. Otherwise, Nigeria will become a jungle. Everybody can move on the public road and start building on it, thinking nothing would happen. So we need some sanity in our crime. That is, um, I see the efforts of Wiki within that context of restoring sanity, but then it has to be done sensitive. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Biodun Shoumi, for coming on the show today. We thank you for your insights into uh, the questions asked. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Mr. Biodun Shoumi, a political analyst, talking with us here in Lagos. We'll take a very short break and return with a second hot topic. Stay with us.